Vera Farmiga has gained widespread recognition over the years. She is best known for portraying Lorraine Warren in the Conjuring film series, but she's also seen success in other roles, both within and outside of the horror film genre. She has been active in the industry for over two decades now, and she isn't disappearing anytime soon. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Vera Farmiga. English wasn't her first language. Vera Ann Farmiga was born on August 6, 1973, in Clifton, New Jersey, to Ukrainian parents. Even though she was born in New Jersey, her native language is Ukrainian. She didn't learn English until she began attending kindergarten at the age of six. As well as speaking fluent English and Ukrainian, she can speak some French and Spanish. She found acting by accident. Farmiga never imagined that she would pursue a career in acting. When she was in school, she preferred playing soccer over acting. It wasn't until she was benched for soccer that she decided to audition for a school play and got the lead. She enjoyed performing and pursued her newfound passion for acting by taking drama at Syracuse University. After receiving her degree, she did a bit of work in New York City theatrical productions before starting to work on television in the late 1990s. The Queen of Horror Genre In more recent years, Farmiga has established herself as a modern scream queen. She has starred in seven horror movies throughout her career, beginning with 2009's cult hit Orphan. While that bizarre horror was well-liked by some genre fans, it was not until 2013 that she returned to the genre. The original Conjuring movie was critically acclaimed and soon spawned a lucrative franchise. She has since cropped up in the 2016 sequel The Conjuring 2 and the 2018 spin-off sequel Annabelle Comes Home. As a result of this decision, her face became the face of horror. Claw marks appeared on her leg after filming The Conjuring. The Conjuring is the story of Ed and Lorraine Warren's experiences with the demonic realm, and it makes for an absolutely thrilling plot. Farmiga, who played Lorraine Warren, has divulged some creepy information about strange happenings that occurred during filming. The first one happened during pre-production. After she got off the phone with director James Wan and formally accepted the role, she opened her laptop to find three digital claw marks across her screen. The three claw marks showed up again when Farmiga finished filming the movie. This time, they appeared as scratches and bruises on her thigh. People thought Tysa was her daughter. The biggest reason why many people probably thought the Farmiga sisters were mother and daughter was because of their huge age gap. There are 21 years between them, so technically, they could be mother and daughter. Vera is one of the oldest of the seven Farmiga children, and Tysa is the youngest. It also probably didn't help the misconception when Vera told Parade that she considers Tysa her surrogate child. She also said, we're best friends, but I like to think I've parented her in a way, too. Tysa didn't help it either when she told Teen Vogue, when I was growing up, people would always confuse me for Vera's daughter. All of this made people believe they were mother and daughter, but they couldn't believe it when they found out otherwise. She was a trained folk dancer. Before she ventured into the world of acting, dancing was her first love. Due to her Ukrainian roots, the actress fell in love with the traditional folk dance, which she described as a hybrid of Irish step dancing and Russian Cossack. Her passion for dancing pushed her to become a member of a folk dancing group called Sizakrili, and they toured the country in 1991. She once confessed that dancing was going to be her fallback option if acting didn't work out. Her directorial debut. In 2011, Farmiga tried her hand at directing with the religious drama film Higher Ground. The film received critical acclaim following its premiere at the 2011 Sundance Film Festival. Many of her family members like younger sister Tysa Farmiga, husband Ren Hawkey, and cousin Adriana Farmiga were part of the production team. She likes to spin wool in her spare time. Farmiga and her husband live a low-key life on a goat farm in upstate New York with their two children. They raise goats that they shear for their wall. Farmiga spins it into yarn and knits clothing from it during breaks on set. She's also said that if she wasn't an actress, she'd be a shepherdess and go back to school to get a horticulture degree. She is a keen boxer. For most of her adult life, Farmiga has also been an avid boxer. In a 2014 interview for the Emmys website, she shared that she began training in Muay Thai boxing when she was 20 years old, but picked up the discipline again during the filming of Bates Motel. She said that it had been a good therapeutic outlet after remarking, what was imperative this season was physically shaking off that residue of work. And she was able to draw on her experiences in the ring three years later while playing the iconic Norma Bates. She has been known to literally burn scripts she doesn't like. 
Whenever she gets a script that she hates, she burns it. She said in an interview, I stack up all those crass female characters, all those utterly ordinary women, all those hundreds and hundreds of parts that have no substance or meaning and turn them into a blazing pyre. When asked why she said, it's really cathartic. It's my revenge on Hollywood insensitivity and greed. The ashes go to the compost. At least the scripts can finally help the world in some way.